Hello, Nomad Sculpt Video Manual. This video is about the Gizmo tool. Okay, I did this video, I think, 20 times or more. But now, <laughs> yes, it's the last time. I try to explain the Gizmo and what you can do with it. Not only, yeah, the, here you can move you can scale your object and you can rotate your object. This is the things you do normally with a gizmo. But there's, there are more options and I try to explain them. Here in this menu here you see the settings of the gizmo. And you see here um, a matrix here you see when you move your object, the values change here when you rotate and so on. And uh, you can change here to uniform scale. And when you use the orange ring, you can yeah, do it like this and scale in this direction and, and so on. You can change also the size of the gizmo here with a slider and for smaller devices it's useful to use for example the compact checkbox here and you can hide the gizmo on interaction now when i rotate you see the gizmo and when you press um, or use the checkbox here for hide on interaction the gizmo is not visible when you use it. So these are the settings and the next thing is this is a primitive a not validated prim primitive. You see it here in the, in the top pop-up menu here. Um, the gizmo is at the moment active. And when the gizmo is active, you see no other options. Here, deselect the gizmo and now you see the, the other options for your um, primitive. And when gizmo is active, you can only use the gizmo. At the left side, there are options for the snapping. Here is the distance and here is the rotation. So I set now a um, snapping distance of 4 and now when I move the object it Yes, the distance is four. <laughs> okay, but I think it's it's not correct at the moment. Uh, I want uh, sorry, I measure it. Um, three. What's the distance here? 3.5. Okay. Let's change it to... I don't know the exact snapping I used for this um, object here. So the next object has a mask. When the mask is active and you use the gizmo, here you can snap off, here you can translate your object, move it around, scale it, and you can also use the rotation. So let's go a few steps back. Now. If you want to move your object with an active mask, 
without deforming the object. You find here at the side here target options. Here presses and now you can change the gizmo target. At the moment it's on automatic and you see here vertex is active. So you move your or your you're translating the vertices. When you change to object mode, now you can move your object with a mask. Okay, it's important to know how to do this. And uh, when you use layers here, when you add a layer and you move your your object here and you change the slider of the, the layer here, nothing works at the moment. And when you change here to vertex mode, I have to clear the mask. Uh, for the layers it's not possible to move it with a mask, I think. Um, so now when you move your object with vertex mode, now the layer works when you move your object. Okay, what's the next point? This is um, here the object with the target mode I showed you. And the next object here is when you add a primitive. I use now this object here. And here when you press in the hierarchy, here the add symbol. There are here two options for the gizmo. Here the on gizmo and select gizmo. When this checkbox is active, the new object appears with a active gizmo. And when this checkbox here is active, the new object is created on the position of the gizmo at the moment. So when I press here I deselect now on gizmo and when I add here a torus it here's the center of the world. So and now I use this object and on gizmo and now I add a new object and it appears here at the gizmo position. I use now a rotation snap, bring the object in, in this position here. And I change the topology for Okay, and in the pop-up menu, Gizmo is active. Now I deselect the Gizmo and now I can create my hole here. And I think I'm happy at the moment. Now I can validate this object. Here I have to rotate my object in this direction. And now it's possible here you have gizmo operations. Here um, move origin brings the object back to the origin. Reset resets the whole thing and you can bake it. When I now press bake Everything, every value is um, resetted to zero. 
and now I can change um, my orientation of the gizmo. Here at the left side there's a pivot function Here you can now center your pivot and now the gizmo is in a correct orientation. I go back now a step. There is a other option here without changing the pivot. It's a align option. When you're in a, in a view like the front view and you press this align function the pivot aligns to the view so but i want to change my pivot here and i center it so okay we got this here this is the add primitive on gizmo, cylinder snap rotation. I think add primitive bake pivot, we got it. The bake pivot thing. And here for this object, I want to use the symmetry. The, the gizmo symmetry is by default off. So when you now use here the symmetry and turn it on, here you see the actual symmetry line and it's not um, aligned with the object at the moment. And now when you use here the symmetry, something crazy happens, I think, like this. We have to change the symmetry. You find here in the symmetry menu here a gizmo edit. Here you can change the symmetry of the object. When you press gizmo edit, you can now rotate your symmetry and tap on the screen then the gizmo is back and now your symmetry should work fine you see here you can scale your object or translate it in a correct way and you can change the symmetry plane to adjust it like this. So, symmetry off. And now the gizmo is in a, in a crazy position, I think. I don't know if it's correct, but I use the pivot and recenter it here and you can check um, your matrix and your gizmo if there's something to bake if not then it's okay so now let's rotate the object 45 degrees and recenter the pivot something like this here and I don't know if it, if it works here you see now it doesn't appear at the moment <coughs> I use this object here because I'm <laughs> I don't want to record the video again um, here in the matrix there's a new 
yeah, a, a new option or yeah, a new line here in the matrix. Skew. This is when you share your object. You here, you can see here the skew and do something like this with your pivot and the, uh, sorry your gizmo and yes I think this are the options with the gizmo and yeah there's yeah the tangents roll uh, roll threshold here in the in this menu here you can change it but it's for mask bending there's an extra video for it somewhere okay i think i got everything i know so far about the gizmo tool have fun with sculpting and yeah, see you. Ciao.